will start with our second session. I will ask some questions so that you can answer them. I can know how much you have learned. So Ganesh, say how respiratory system consists of how many parts? Human respiratory system consists of 8 parts. They are nostrils, nasal cavity, internal nares, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi and bronchioles and lungs. Yes. And the nasal cavities are separated by what? Achana. Both the nasal cavities are separated by a cartilaginous bone which is movable called a septum. Ask also. We have a plate which separates the oral cavity from nasal cavities. What is? The plate which separates the oral cavity from, nas from nasal cavity is called palate. Sirisha. The air what we breathe is warmer than our body. So when it enters into the nasal cavity, what happens over there? It will enter into our, it will adjust with our body, it will go into the, our body. It, is, it will go into our nasal cavity and it will adjust with our body temperature and enters into our lungs. Thank you. Pavan. Nasal cavity opens into the pharynx by a pair of openings called Nasal cavity opens into the pharynx by a pair of Internal nerves Yes And Durga Sushma the, the air from pharynx enters into the Larynx Yes, same Thank you Now we will start from larynx Larynx is generally called as voice box. It is the upper part, part of trachea. It has vocal cords which vibrate during expiration and produces sounds. sounds. This larynx opens into trachea. trachea. Now trachea, it is commonly called as larynx. It starts from larynx and travels through neck and enters into the thoracic cavity nothing but chest cavity the walls of trachea are supported by c-shaped cartilaginous bones the function of c-shaped cartilaginous bones is to prevent trachea from collapsing now we'll see the trachea see this is nothing but trachea you can see c-shaped cartilaginous bones so what is the function of it? Prevent from collapsing. Yes. yes. Now next part we will go to bronchi. Okay. See. Bronchi we can see. Here. Everyone can see? Yes. yes. Bronchi. Yes. This is singularly called as? Bronchus. Here you can see? Yes. And this and the trachea divides into two tubes called bronchi. It is singularly enters into lungs and again it divides into many branches called bronchioles. bronchioles. Now we will go to lungs. These are present on either side of the heart. 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 Lungs are elastic and spongy. So anyone can say lungs are elastic and spongy. and spongy. These lungs are covered by two membranes called pleura membrane. Pleura membrane. And the space between the membrane, two membranes is filled up with fluid. Called pleural fluid. And then this, uh, the function of pleura is to protect lungs from any injury. What is the function of pleura? To protect the lungs from any injury. As we can see that right lung is larger than the left lung. Left lung. Yes. All can see or not? Yes. yes. See, right lung is larger than the left, left, lung. Lung. left lung. And this right lung is made of three lobes. See, you can see one here. One, two and three. While 
the left lung is made of two, two, two loops. Two loops. Everyone can see three loops here. Yes. And here two, two loops. Here. Yes. We have small bag-like structures called alveoles. And these uh, these have the lungs have several thousands of alveoli, which are supplied with blood capillaries. This pulmonary artery brings deoxygenated blood from heart, heart to from heart to lungs. Then after entering after entering into the lungs, this artery, pulmonary artery, divides into several arterioles. And it supplies deoxygenated blood to alveoli. The gas exchange of gases. Exchange of gases occurs in alveoli. Then after the exchange of gases, the oxygenated blood it is carried out by pulmonary vein. And afterwards it is supplied to all the parts of the body. So we will discuss now how it is supplied and all. C. As we know, this is larger than the left lung and it has three lobes. Okay? C. Everyone can see three lobes here? Yes. yes. Here, this side? C. Three lobes. And here, two lobes. This is a model of animals. Okay? Animal. Animal lung. This is a model of animal lung. Trachea. Bronchi. Here bronchi. And it is again divided into several branches called bronchioles. Then these are the lungs. Okay? Now by this we have completed our lesson. We will discuss from each bench. See. Trachea. C shaped cartilaginous bones. The function of it is prevents from collapsing of trachea. And this trachea again divided into two parts. Bronchi. Bronchi. Okay? It is similarly called bronchus. Again, this bronchi is divided into several branches called bronchioles. Okay? And these lungs are present on either side of the heart. In between we will have a heart. And these lungs are spongy and elastic. Okay? 